Well, good evening, friends. I'm so glad that you're with us tonight for our annual meeting. It's hard to believe, but this is my 15th annual meeting with St. Thomas. Um, it seems like just a couple of days ago that I got here, and then it also seems like it was a couple of decades ago. Um, there's been so much that's happened in those 15 years and so many great relationships and, and pastoral moments with the congregation, and so I'm just very really grateful uh, to be your rector. I'm particularly grateful to be your rector in this really difficult time. Um, I'm so proud of the congregation for your flexibility, for your willingness to say yes to all the changes that we've had to make this last year in order to continue as a congregation from parking lot church to outdoor church to indoor church to mass church to distance church to online church to all the different modalities that we've used for all kinds of different things from dropping things off for outreach to an outdoor meal to um, all kinds of different things that I can think of. And I'm just really grateful to you. I'm super grateful to the staff that I have the honor of working with, to the amazing vestry that I've been able to uh, lead with in the last couple of years, and to all of our lay leadership and all the different ministries from Invite, Welcome, Connect, who have helped to bring in a number of new families, to our outreach ministries who have reached out for, to the homeless, to the hungry, um, to the naked, to all those who are in need, uh, to our liturgical ministries from the altar guild to the musicians to the ushers and greeters and chalice bearers and everybody who does so much acolytes uh, to help make worship happen in all kinds of different ways um, to our many many different small groups and neighborhood groups to our bible studies and other studies uh, to our youth group to our children's ministry i mean i can keep going and going and going a list of all the ministries that have been so willing to try different things We've had a lot go on this last year from our six projects with Kansas Beats the Virus um, to our new gardens that uh, Bruce and Peggy have so diligently led us into um, to so much other work that's happened around the building um, and the continued interconnectedness of our community as we embark on a new year of renewal, of reconnection, and also of revisioning our congregation. I asked the staff to make some videos for us so they could explain how this last year has been for them. And so I'm so grateful to their leadership um, and to all of your leadership. And so take a listen to what they have to say. Uh, take it away, guys. Oh, and by the way, we have exciting news as a new staff person is joining us uh, here shortly. And so you'll get a chance to meet her at the end of the video. Take it away. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Reisbig, also known as Parish Administrator. Uh, in 2021, a new phone system was installed here at the church and a lot was learned about setup, cabling and fire alarm monitoring requirements, uh, jargon that communication companies use, um, and then where to find support afterwards. Uh, I did find a good place to get that. Staff and volunteers have uh, learned the how to do the basics, but training actually is still taking place. My workload has increased almost to the point of before the pandemic. And thankfully, my volunteer crew has increased too. I gained three new people, and my regulars have continued to come week after week to give me a hand. Mostly, I'm happy that we all managed to stay healthy with just a few minor ailments here and there. And I so look forward to seeing everyone's smiling faces again. I am grateful to be part of an energetic staff and vibrant community at St. Thomas. Several highlights within my ministries this past year include our continued partnership with Comanche Elementary. As one of several community partners connected with Caring for Kids, our relationship with Comanche has certainly been an evolving support basis during this continued COVID time. In addition to our regular ministries, we provided additional recess equipment when their own budget didn't allot for COVID guideline adjustments for their recess and PE times. We organized and started a community effort for a monthly mobile food pantry in the school parking lot, serving about 100 families each month. We also had new outreach efforts extended in the community that included a drive-by food donation to support a local food pantry in Olathe. And also, thanks to your generosity, we joined in a community effort to provide 177 families in Olathe with a Thanksgiving meal. We introduced a new mental health and wellness ministry. And lastly, we were able to again have our lay Eucharistic visitors start visiting shut-ins and those unable to attend services due to illness or special circumstances. My heartfelt thanks to all who graciously continue to support these ministries and to the love and compassion you all share in the world. I believe this past year was one of beginning to reconnect 
We had many people in neighborhood groups see people that they've gone to church with for years and never knew lived close to them. <laughs> we had members of our small groups reach out in care and concern for their members who were sick or couldn't get out because of the pandemic. And we've seen tremendous growth in our youth community. We've had new friends whose families are now members of St. Thomas, but we've also welcomed many new friends who are unchurched or from other Christian and even non-Christian faith traditions. Uh, we've had many youth from the LGBTQ community who have felt welcomed and loved in Christ's name by their fellow youth group members. Uh, we were able to host a full complement of summer camps, including an amazing mission trip to Colorado Springs. So after a year of feeling so disconnected uh, in 2020, 2021 gave me hope and felt pretty great as we begin the road back to rebuilding our community. This has been a challenging, wonderful year. More than anything, I've decided it's not about the notes. It is about the people. We know that our parish has energy, many musical gifts, talented people, financial support, and supportive clergy. We have the most incredible leadership in the ministry of Christ Jesus. He says, you should do it, and we can do it. At our church, we had the leadership of Father Gardimo, and he created our worship offerings. During the past 12 months, our music year had two stages, online, and online and in person. We began the year with our new music tradition, making music and worship online. Every week, musicians met with Father Gar to make a bass track. Both the praise group and the traditional choir met to record the underlying soundtrack that would be expanded to create the fuller sound. We sent the video bass tracks to the members and colleagues, and our ensembles sent us their renditions recorded with the bass track. Father Gar then synchronized all of the music to make the product that was offered online. Here's a sample of the process. First, you see Jim conducting a quartet. Next, you see the finished video, which included former choir members, choir members, family, and friends. The Christian men rejoice with heart and soul and voice, keeping heed to what we say. Christ is born today, ox and ass before him bow, and he is in the manger now. Christ is born today, Christ is born today. Good Christian men rejoice with heart and soul and voice, give ye heed to what we say, news, news. Jesus Christ is born today, ox and ass before him bow, and he is in the manger now. Christ is born today, Christ is born today. What a process. What a library. We built a 180 piece library of recorded music, sacred music. We are very proud. We have solos, praise songs, hymns, anthems, and recordings done by youth. How exciting. On Palm Sunday, we began adding some live music. We had limited numbers of praise and traditional members return to worship on Easter. Soon we added some live combined services in addition to the online offerings. We gradually returned to having all Saturday and Sunday services offered as live worship. Our musicians were very happy to return. We even added some new members in both ensembles. Our children began to sing in Children's Chapel. We had live music in arts camp. More than anything else, the music represents an energetic collective that supports the scripture every Sunday. The people of the ensembles grow every week as they create these offerings, and we hope you grow too. So in reflecting on the last year of children's ministry, it recently occurred to me that in the year 2021, we offered children's programming through online Zoom Sunday School curated Children's Chapel worship videos that posted to our Facebook pages and YouTube channel through an in-person in the parish hall family worship uh, when our families, not all of them, were comfortable coming back into the main worship services because their kids were in school but too young to be vaccinated. We offered a Sunday school outdoors in order to be distanced and to keep people safe. And then we offered Sunday school indoors in the parish hall. 
no less than five different formats for our children's programming in the last year. And although I know we kind of elevate, and I, I do too, elevate this idea of getting back to normal, back to the way things were, what a great gift that we now have all of these different modalities for presenting our children's ministry programming. Whether we find we need it at some point, maybe we have an inclement weather Sunday and our families can't get to church, we take Sunday school online. Maybe sometime the kids decide we want to go outside for Sunday school this week and enjoy God's creation. Let's go! Or maybe the kids decide one week they want to retell a godly play story by making a movie out of it. We can do it. So it's been a hard year. Not going to pretend that it wasn't, but we definitely got some good things out of it. My name is Britannia and I'm your new instructor. Working out for me has always been a loathsome, tedious affair. Rather like going to church. So I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone? Am I right? Right! So join me Sunday mornings where we will tone your core, soften your heart, and give you buns of steel. Feel that refiner's fire burn. My name is Britannia and I am Peloton. <laughs>